There's a place under South America so dangerous that ships refuse to pass through. Instead, they take longer routes, burn more fuel, and spend more money, all to avoid it. And this is the real reason ships will never pass under South America, the Drake Passage. The Drake Passage is a deep waterway that bridges the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans. It stretches between South America's Cape Horn and Antarctica's South Shetland Islands, spanning about 500 miles across and plunging to an average depth of 11,000 feet. But this isn't just any stretch of water. It's where nature's raw power is on full display. To understand how it earned its infamous reputation, we need to take a step back in time. The Drake Passage has a history as turbulent as its waters, filled with controversy, daring explorers, and tragic losses. While the passage is named after Sir Francis Drake, its story starts decades earlier with the Spanish navigator Francisco de Joses. In 1525, Joses and his crew aboard the San Lemes were blown off course by a storm to latitude 55 degrees south. This accidental discovery marked the first documentation of the passage, leading Spanish-speaking countries to call it the Mar de Osses. Fast forward to 1578, we find Sir Francis Drake's name forever tied to the route. But here's the twist. Drake never actually sailed through the passage. His expedition was marred by disaster after passing through the Strait of Magellan. One ship, the Marigold, was lost entirely. Another, the Elizabeth, abandoned the fleet, leaving only Drake's golden hind to press on, battered and with less than half its original crew. Despite this, the Golden Passage would later bear Drake's name, cementing his legacy in maritime history, albeit with a fair share of controversy. The first successful crossing didn't happen until 1616, when Dutch navigator William Schulden braved the perilous waters aboard the Endracht. But even as explorers like Schruden and Osses mapped these dangerous waters, the Drake Passage's reputation kept most sailors at bay. Its ferocity was so feared that alternative routes, like the calmer Strait of Magellan, became the preferred choice, solidifying the passage's legacy as a route too dangerous to risk. So what makes the Drake Passage so dangerous that ships will never pass through it? The answer lies in a deadly combination of natural forces, each more unforgiving than the last. First, there's the Antarctic Circumpolar Current, the most powerful ocean current on the planet. It moves at an astonishing 125 to 200 million cubic yards of water per second, roughly 600 times the flow of the Amazon River. Without any landmass to slow it down, this current creates a relentless force that no ship can ignore. Then, there's the wind. The infamous Roaring Forties, Furious Fifties, and Screaming Sixties sweep across this region with terrifying speed, often exceeding 60 miles per hour. These winds churn up massive waves, sometimes reaching heights of 60 feet, the size of a four-story building. The Drake Passage is also where the cold Antarctic waters collide with the warmer waters of the Atlantic and Pacific. This clash creates sudden extreme temperature shifts and powerful cyclones, making the weather as unpredictable as it is hostile. But perhaps the most chilling factor is its isolation. The Drake Passage is one of the most remote places on Earth. With no nearby landmasses to offer shelter or rescue, if something goes wrong out here, and it often does, you're completely on your own. It's no wonder sailors call the passage the Drake Shake when waves, winds, and weather combine to turn this waterway into a maritime battleground. And even in the rare calm moments known as the Drake Lake, the risks remain ever-present. These forces have made the Drake Passage a graveyard for ships throughout history. An estimated 800 vessels now rest on its seabed, and over 20,000 lives have been claimed by its fury. Even today, the Drake Passage proves its reputation as one of the deadliest stretches of water. In November 2022, the Viking Polaris cruise ship was struck by a towering 40-foot wave while crossing from Antarctica to Ushiwaya. The impact shattered several cabin windows, caused major damage, and tragically claimed the life of a passenger while injuring eight others. This is why ships will never pass under South America. It's simply not worth the gamble. 
For centuries, the Drake Passage has kept sailors at bay, but that hasn't stopped some from daring to cross it. Who are the brave few, or perhaps reckless, souls who have taken on this challenge, and what have they discovered? Despite its terrifying reputation, the Drake Passage isn't just a death trap. It's also a proving ground for modern explorers and a treasure trove for scientists. In recent years, this stretch of water has been the stage for record-breaking achievements, groundbreaking discoveries, proving that even the most dangerous places can push the boundaries of human endurance and scientific understanding. Take, for instance, Colin O'Brady and his crew, who completed the first human-powered crossing of the Drake Passage in December 2019. Rowing in grueling 90-minute shifts for 12 days straight, they braved frostbite and relentless waves to achieve what many thought was impossible, arriving triumphantly on Christmas Day. Then there's Barbara Hernandez Huerta, nicknamed the Ice Mermaid. In February 2022, she swam a mile across the Drake Passage's frigid waters in just 15 minutes and 3 seconds, setting a Guinness World Record. Her feat didn't just earn her accolades. It's highlighted the incredible resilience of the human spirit in one of the harshest environments on Earth. But exploration isn't limited to human endurance. Scientists have turned to advanced technology to uncover the secrets of the passage, and what they found is astonishing. The Drake Passage plays a vital role in regulating the Earth's climate. As mentioned it earlier, the passage is part of the Global Ocean Conveyor Belt. Its powerful Antarctic circumpolar current, whose circulation exchanges heat, salinity, and nutrients between the world's major oceans, making the passage a key player in our planet's climate stability. Even more remarkable is its role as a carbon sink. The unique turbulence and undersea mountains of the Drake Passage create a rare window where carbon dioxide is drawn from the atmosphere and funneled into the deep ocean. Here, phytoplankton and other organic matter are swept into the depths before they can decompose, helping to sequester carbon faster and more efficiently than in other most parts of the world. The passage's climate influence goes back millions of years. When it opened 30 to 49 million years ago, it revolutionized Earth's climate, boosting biological productivity, reducing atmospheric carbon dioxide, and paving the way for the icy isolation of Antarctica. Today, it continues to act as a crucial regulator, with cold glacial waters in areas like the Bransfield Strait absorbing significantly more CO2 than other regions. So while the Drake Passage remains one of the most dangerous places on Earth for humans, it's also one of the most vital for life as we know it. That's all folks on the real reasons ships never pass under South America. The Drake Passage remains nature's ultimate challenge, untamed, unforgiving, and unyielding. It's a reminder that even in an age of advanced technology, there are places humans may never conquer. Did you hear about this passage before? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon for more exciting explorations. Stay tuned for our next video. Thanks for watching.